a home. Amen. Praise God. And if you don't have a home church, you can come join us. Amen. It's worth yeah. the drive. It's worth the walk. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. A church you can call home where we honor God, we love families, we serve others, and, and we pursue excellence. Amen. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. So we want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves, have the right attitude to receive what God has for you. Yeah. Amen. He's got something for you. He's not going to pass you by. Amen. Praise God. So today we're going to be talking about give your all to Jesus. Okay. Amen. <laughs> I guarantee you, we just, uh, well, today's the last day of the Olympics. I guess it's closed now. We're, we're closing today. But them guys went there for the last few week or so, and they gave it their all. Yes, they did. Amen. And we can give our all to the world, and we can give our all to anything that we like. Mm -hmm. Why don't we give, give your all to Jesus? Amen. Amen. You know what? <laughs> when the Father and Jesus met in heaven and said, Son, I'm going to have to send you home, send you and sacrifice you so I can get my people back. I want my people back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, I'll do it. You know what? Jesus gave his all. Mm -hmm. God gave us his best. He, God gave us all. Jesus gave us all, gave it all. And we need to give it all. Amen. Amen. We just can't hold back. Amen. Amen. If you're holding back, you know what? The enemy is going to have you. This world is going to have you. Yes. Amen. It's called sin or you can call it distractions. There's a lot of distractions coming against you. And if you're not renewing your mind with the things of God, the yeah. Word of God, you know what? You're going to be distracted. Amen. And that's what the enemy wants to do. He attacks the mind. And the battlefield is the mind. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that. Amen. I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm go. Grab your sword, soldier of God. Amen. And let's make this declaration together. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I only talk the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo! The battlefield is the mind. You know what? And if you're not renewing it with the word of God, the enemy is going to have you because he's going to belittle you. He's going to tell you lies. And if you start believing those lies and you start confessing them, it pops in your head and it's going to pop out of your mouth and you can have what you say. And when yeah. you speak negative yeah. words, the Bible says there's death and life in the power of the tongue. Yes. Death and life in the words you're speaking. Uh -huh. So what are you speaking over your life? Are you speaking death things, bad things over yourself? Mm -hmm. No, let's oh, not yeah. do that. Let's renew our minds and start confessing what the word of God says we are, not yes. what the world says. Because the world, the enemy, the world says, you're not qualified. You're not good enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Bible says you are. He says, you're good enough. I put you yes. here to win. I put you here to be a <coughs> champion for Jesus. Amen. So yeah. we, need to, we, need to, we need to get the right thing and start confessing the right yes. things. Amen. Woo! I'm excited. I don't know about you. As a matter of fact, I've got this uh, scripture break nugget I want to share with you. It's called Speak Faith Feel words. If I'm going to speak something, I'm going to speak some faithful words. Amen. It says, if we want the power of God manifested in our lives and we live and to live a victorious life, speak faith filled words. Speak yes. the word over your situation. If you're listening to the world, if you're listening to a friend, you're listening to somebody close by, you're going to hear some negative things. You know what? I'm not receiving that. I'm going to renew my mind with the word of God so I don't go and repeat the same things. Amen. It says, <clears throat> magnify God and not your situation. That's it. Amen. And I can tell where you're at right quick. He can tell where you're at right quick mm -hmm. if you start confessing the negative things. I say, whoa, wait a minute. And you call yourself, what? Mm -hmm. And you're saying those things? Come on now. Let's not go there. Amen. That's it. You know what? Best thing to do is put a guard on your lip. Or put a zip on your lip and not even say it. That's Just it. because somebody else said it don't mean I have to say it. That's it. That don't make me a, a man or a stronger man. Says magnify God, not your problem or not That's your it. situation. Declare you are an overcomer through Him. Amen. Hey, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. Amen. So don't belittle yourself when God says that you are a winner. You're an overcomer. You can do all things through yeah. me. Amen. 
You can do all things through him, no matter how unqualified you feel. And I guarantee you, the world, the enemy is going to make you feel unqualified. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're not good enough. Amen. You know why? Because you're this or you're that or you're this color or that color. You're this denomination or that denomination, uh -huh. whatever. No, I'm a child of God. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Jesus promised to strengthen you and, uh, and enable you. Anyone can be positive when things are going well. Yeah. But the yeah. way you respond when yeah. trouble comes will make uh -huh. you or break you. That's it. Amen. That's it. And trouble will come. Oh, Is yeah. it going to make you or break you? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Well, you know, you receive bad news, you know, so they gave you an opportunity to get all upset and start mm -hmm. fussing and cussing. No. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. You can say in the midst of your difficulties will have a direct impact on your outcome. Mm -hmm. Don't look to the facts of your situation. Look at the truth of God's word. Yes. Declare his truth over your situation until the fact lines up with the word of God. Yeah. This is what the word of God says. And you know what? <laughs> I'm going to stand on the word. You know what? We on TV. There's the Bible. I'm going to stand on the word of God. Amen. <laughs> that's, that's standing on the word of God. Praise God. I just had to do a funny part here. You know? So I'm standing on the word next time you see me. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Some of us, you got to see so you can believe. <laughs> but, you know, if we have it in us, it's going to come out of us. Amen. Yeah. Since out of your innermost being, you know, fill yourself up. You know, hey, my car is a great tool, mm -hmm. instrument for me to have, you know. Like, but you know what? If it's out of gas, yeah. it ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. Means I'm going to have to walk somewhere. Why? It's, it's not my car's fault. Uh -huh. It's my fault. I need to fill it up when it's low. You know, when you're low on the word, you got to fill yourself up. Yeah. Don't allow yourself to get down and low. You know what? Because when you're down, and if you're not, a, if you're not in the spirit and feeding your spirit, uh -huh. you're going to be in the flesh. Yeah. And if you're in the flesh, you're going to confess things that you shouldn't have. That's it. Well, and whose fault is it that you're empty? Yourself. <laughs> yourself. You know, I guarantee you, when you're hungry, you don't go all day without food. No. You won't feed yourself because oh, it yeah. makes me feel better. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it nourishes me. You know, it makes me feel strong. Well, well, if you're not in the Word of God and you're not filled with the Word of God, you're going to feel weak. And the enemy knows. Why? Because he knows. He says the enemy comes. He says he comes to devour you. How does he know who to, who to attack? Mm -hmm. Because what's coming out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. You're confessing negative. You could, you're in the flesh. And the enemy, you're opening the door, and the enemy is going to come in, slide in. Oh, yes. Amen. I mean, the door was so wide open, he didn't have to slide. He just walked, walked in. in. That's it. So don't allow yourself to get empty in the things of God and the Word of God. You got to keep yourself up. Mm -hmm. and you know, when you feel yourself going down, you know, when e, it, 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 the, it, the gas gate says E and F. Mm -hmm. F means it's full, E means it doesn't mean enough, it means mm -hmm. empty. <laughs> So we gotta fill it up. Don't allow yourself to get past half, you know? Mm. Because you know what? When we get full of the word of God, they say, Well, I can't, I can't, I can't. So many Bible heroes have said, Lord, I can't. You can do all things through Christ. Amen. Amen. You get the word in you. He says, out of your innermost being, it's gonna flow rivers, rivers. of living water. Yeah. Rivers is not just a drop. Rivers means lots. It's gonna come out. When it needs to come out, it's going to come out. Amen. You just got to let it out. You got to yes. open your mouth. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise you know God. what? As a matter of fact, we, we read this last week, you know. Uh, if you open your Bibles to the book of Isaiah, one of my favorite scriptures. Isaiah. Isaiah 55. You know where I'm going. Isaiah 55, 11. Let's go to 55, 11. Mm -hmm. Are you there? Not yet. I'm there. Isaiah 55, 11 says, so shall my word be. Yes. This is God speaking. Uh -huh. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Out of my mouth. It's got to come out of your uh -huh. mouth. Amen. Uh -huh. It says, it shall not return to me void, but it will accomplish what that which I, I please. And it shall prosper in the things whereto I send it. Amen. I got to release it. I got to release it. It's got to come out of my mouth. 
Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what the word of God says. Amen. So we got to speak. We just re reading this. We got to speak faith filled words. It says declare his truth over your situation until the fact lines up with the word of God, with his word. Make the decision daily to speak faith filled words over your situation and you will make it through every day victoriously. Amen. Triumphant. A winner. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. So, you know, just don't count on somebody else to do it for you. That's it. Amen. That's you it. can do it for yourself. Do it for yourself. Amen. Do it for yourself. Get in the Word. You know how you saw me standing? <laughs> <laughs> Stand on the Word. <laughs> but once in a while, you got to get off of it so you can open it up. And <laughs> <do it. laughs> All right. <laughs> and one of the scriptures you used there was... Uh, Psalms 118 24 it says, uh, and the New King James says, This is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Or you can just say, I will rejoice and be yes. glad in it. Or yeah. you can personalize it and just mm -hmm. say, Jose will rejoice mm -hmm. and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. We got to put the word of, of God work for us. Yes. Amen. We got to personalize it. Amen. Amen. He yeah. wants to bless you. Yeah. Do you want to be blessed? Yes. Yes. Praise God. Give your all to Jesus. Surrender all to Him, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, as a matter of fact, we're going to find out what surrender means. Oh, surrender wow. means to submit, means to commit to Him. Amen. To give possession or power over to Him. It says to yield to another. What am I going to yield to Him? To give your all to Jesus. That's what I'm going to give. I'm going to surrender mm -hmm. myself. Amen. And, and my next one here says to resign. Mm -hmm. Meaning that I'm going to dethrone myself. Okay, now. <laughs> I'm going to dethrone myself and put him on the throne. Mm -hmm. He is Lord of my life. He is yes. king of my life. Amen. Yes. So, you know, king sits on a throne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, King Jose has been sitting on the throne. <laughs> I've been running my whole life. And guess yeah. what? I made it a mess. It's a mess now. So guess what? If I'm going to confess him as my Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. that means I got to dethrone myself yes. and quit running my life. Yes. It's already a mess. So now I got to put him mm -hmm. and make him, dethrone him and put him on my life. Yeah. As a matter of fact, yeah. one of our scriptures, oh, leave it right there. It says, let go and let go out. Let him take over your life yes. and run it. He knows how to do this. Yeah. He knows best. Amen. Yeah. This is great. Amen. Yeah. He knows. You know what? Here's the thing is, we try to hide things from him. He knows all about you. He knows your worst, and he knows your best, yes. and loves you the most. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. So, you know, we got to stop sending, uh, going uh, on Facebook or going uh, wherever you go and confess all your, your, your things, things to him, you know. Mm -hmm. They can't help you. Well, all they're going to say is, hey, you know what? You need to smoke another joint. <laughs> Or, hey, you need to have another drink. You need, you need, you need some tequila, you know. Mm -hmm. You know that tequila you can, is bad. So it's going to kill you. That's right. Tequila will tequila you. <laughs> Keep going. So <laughs> here's a, uh, we're talking about throwing in him. Mm -hmm. Our priorities. We have priorities. Yes, I guarantee you. Like I said, I spent 20 plus years in the military. And we have priorities. But you know what? Even when I was in the military, Jesus was my number one priority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Patricia came in second. Yeah. <laughs> Children yeah. came in third. <laughs> and the military came in fourth. Mm. Amen. So we got to get our priorities in order. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. But this is what uh, Matthew 6.33 is all about. Mm -hmm. Matthew 6.33 and 34 says this. King James says, but seek first the kingdom of God, his yeah. righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. Yes. Uh, 34 says, take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow, excuse me, yeah. for, tom for tomorrow <coughs> shall take Stop. thought for the things of itself. Oh, Sufficient yeah. unto the day oh, it, oh, it is it the is. evil thereof. And oh. the says, says, says this, but first and most importantly, seek Aim at, strive after his kingdom and his righteousness. His way will do of doing and being right. The attitude and character of God. 
and all these things all these things will be given to you also don't worry about tomorrow mm -hmm. or tomorrow uh will worry about itself each day has enough trouble of its own yes it okay? does don't multiply your problem you know mm -hmm. thinking about tomorrow or next week mm -hmm. or next month or next year mm -hmm. you know we got enough problems for one day mm -hmm. amen we can do all things through christ amen yeah. and that's okay but we're releasing this day to you lord and we're going to accomplish what he wants us to yes. do today yes. amen we have a mission to fulfill yes, but we we're going to do a daily mission with him Amen. And you know, the best thing to do is be in tune with Him. Yes. Amen. Renew your mind to what the Word of God says. Spend time with Him. Mm -hmm. Set your priorities first. Seek Him first. Mm -hmm. Amen. Before you go out into the world, because mm -hmm. you know what? When you go into the world, there's going to be giant uh, problems waiting on you. Mm -hmm. There's going to be giant cares, giant troubles, giant everything. Giant everything. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of rage going on. Oh, my God. Amen. Mm -hmm. So. Let's seek him first. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Lord. Let me see. And I have submit means to surrender means to give up or to yield or to resign and set your priorities in order. Mm -hmm. Submit means to yield, surrender. Give your all to Jesus. Amen. We we can't say that enough. Amen. We we, we have to do it because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, yes, he and he's going to bug you, and he's going to bug you, and bug you, and bug you. That's it. How does he bug me? <laughs> mm. Through your mind, your thought life. Mm -hmm. The battlefield is the mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or you use his people. If you're not for Jesus, yeah. you're for the enemy. Yes, no, is. I'm just ne neutral. No, you're not. There ain't no neutral. There ain't no, no, there's no neut <laughs> neutral with, 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 with this and serving this, okay? You're either for God or against God. Mm -hmm. And if you're against God, you're for the enemy. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And submit is to yield or surrender. Commit means to faithful, be faithful, be dedicated, be devoted. Again, surrender all to Him. Surrender all to Jesus. And Matthew 16, 24 and 27 goes mm -hmm. like this says then jesus said to his disciples if anyone mm -hmm. or anybody yes uh desires to come after me mm -hmm. you notice the me is capitals mm -hmm. says let him deny himself take up his cross and follow me mm -hmm. amen that's a daily a daily that's a lifestyle mm -hmm. amen and 25 says for whoever desires to save his life will mm -hmm. lose it but whoever li uh, loses his life for me, my, my sin yes. will find it. You see, my mm -hmm. in caps. 26 mm -hmm. says, for what profit is, what profit is it, it to a man if he gains the whole world yes. and loses his own soul? That's it. That's or what it. will a man give in exchange for mm -hmm. his soul? 27, mm -hmm. for the Son of Man will come in, glo in, in the glory of his Father with his angels and then he will reward each according to his work amen, amen. so we must be busy about the father's business yes, amen. Do. and uh take up your cross and follow him every day not amen. just once in a while not when you feel like it you know hey but i'm doing better i'm doing good you know when you're feeling good and, mm. and you just give up mm. and you let the world in you let your guard down yes. and the enemy comes in mm -hmm. and the friends come in and oh, drag you away and you yes, start confessing the negative things mm -hmm. remember you got to stay full and you got to stay connected to the source yes. if you're not full the world will come in quick because that battlefield is going and the battlefield is busy jesus uses two words as anyone in the king in the new in the, in this new king james says anyone or any man uh -huh. if any man in the king james he says if any man mm -hmm. Okay, if any man desires to come after me, let him deny himself. Yeah, man, woman, that's what mm -hmm. he's talking about. Yeah. Disciples who followed Jesus each had to make up their own decision, mm -hmm. they gave up their profession. Mm -hmm. These men were professional fishermen, some were professional fishermen. They left their job, they left their career, they left their work, they left their business, and followed him. Yes, you know what he said? He says, Follow me, mm -hmm. and they gave up. Their business. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long they've been in business, but they've been in business for a while. Yep. And they followed him. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, hey, I've been living for the world all my life. But when I gave my life to Christ, you know, hey, mm -hmm. I'm going to follow him now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to serve him now. 
and you, I, I, I'm a child of God, and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna be used by Him, and whatever He wants me to do, I'll do, because the Bible says I can do all things through Christ. So Lord, I'm counting on You. What is it You want me to do? Yeah. Amen. I go to Him. Check with Him. We must do the same. Give your all to Jesus. Yes. Surrender all to Jesus. Amen. I can't say that enough. Yes. <laughs> Jesus, listen, Jesus will not force you to do anything because he's given us our own free will. Nobody, he gave that to nobody else but to us. Yes. We have our own free will. We have yes. a choice. We have a choice. You serve me now? <laughs> you can go up or you can go down. It's, it's up to you. I mean, we got to know what the word, what the word of God says, because He says that His word is the truth, and the truth is going to set us free from mindsets. It's going to set us free from traditional ways. It's always been done like this, and no Bible is going to tell me what to do. No. Okay, it's been done like this, so I'm not going for anything else, and nothing can change me. No boy. Not even Jesus going to the cross, huh? You don't know what the word says. Don't just take it from somebody else because of what somebody else did. Yes. That's man. Jesus gave his life for yes, us to be free and to know the truth and set yeah. us free. And Jesus says this also in John 14, 6. He mm -hmm. says that he is the only way, the truth, yes. and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except yes. through him. Yes. Who was sacrificed for you? Mm -hmm. Jesus. Who went Jesus. to the cross for you? Jesus. Jesus. He says, there's no other way to the Father except through me. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can have all the money in the world die and go to hell. Mm. You can have all the money in the world and still be broke. Why? Because you don't have Jesus. Yeah. Come on now. Oh, <laughs> pretty good, Pastor. <laughs> Praise oh, God. Oh, oh, hallelujah. No. Let me see. No stones. Don't throw no stones. <laughs> Revelation 3 and 20 said, we, we, we said we was going to talk about this. Revelation 3 and 20, King James says what? Behold, I stand at the door. Knock. And uh, knock if any man, mm -hmm. Jose, hears my voice and opens the door, I will come mm -hmm. in to him and will sup with him yeah. and he with me. The Living Bible says this, Revelation 3.20. Look, I've been standing at the door. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, we can add to it and say, you know what? I've been calling you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still ignoring me and you're not answering my call I'm, he says I've been standing at the door how long have you been standing there uh -huh. you've been looking through that peephole you know who it is it's him again oh no man go away he says I've been standing at the door yeah. and I'm constantly knocking he says if anyone Jose hears me you see the me it's capitalized mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's me calling him and opens the door. I will come in and fellowship with him and he with me. Amen. You know what's keeping Jesus out of your life? You. 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 Hey, you. You. You point at you. Don't, don't point at the world and don't point at your friends and don't point at all these other distractions. You point at you because you can change this. Yes. Amen. All you need to do is confess with your mouth the mm -hmm. Lord Jesus and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead. Yes. And it says, You shall be saved. You'll be saved. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. I wanna I want if you want some life insurance, <laughs> <laughs> that's the best life insurance you can have. <laughs> mm. Keep going, brother. It's yeah. going good, man. Woo, man, you were born for this. <laughs> <laughs> Romans, I'm going to read it to you from uh, several translations, but it says in Romans 12.4, uh, it says, For as we have many members in one yes. body, but all the members do not have the same function. That's it. So we, being many, are one body in Christ and individual members of one another. Amen. Romans 12, 4 and 5. Amen. So let's remember this. Listen, I'm going to say it like this. God makes you to be an original. Yes, he did. There's nobody else like you. That's it. Thank Amen. God. It says, be the original God made you to be. Mm -hmm. Be the original God equipped you to be. Mm -hmm. Don't be a copy. That's you know it. what we try to do? We try to copy each other. Amen. I mean, there's a lot of role models out there we want to be like. Why not? As a matter of fact, 
Let me read it to you one more time. And if you go to Ephesians chapter 5, mm -hmm. I'm gonna find it. Ephesians chapter 5, I'm going to read it to you. I promise I won't keep you long. Okay. And I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified, okay? But it goes like this. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. It says, Therefore be imitators of God. Mm -hmm. Copy Him and follow His example. This is the best role model you can have. Yes. yes. And none of these other role models went and sacrificed themselves for you. That's it. <laughs> Jesus did. The Bible tells us in Ephesians 5, chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. It says, Therefore, be imitators of God. Copy Him and follow His example. As well-beloved children imitate their fathers. Mm -hmm. And verse 2 says, And walk in love, esteeming and delighting in one another, as Christ loved us and gave Himself up for us, a slain offering a sac and a sacrifice to God for you. So that it became a sweet fragrance. Yeah. Ain't it so? Yes. So, the best imitator, the best one that you can imitate is Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, be the original he made you to be. Amen. He made you precious. You're precious in his sight. Amen. Yes. And uh, he's equipped you. Remember, if you don't know, and nobody ever told you this before, mm -hmm. you are called of God. Yes. You're anointed of God. Mm -hmm. And he's equipped you to fulfill whatever he's called you to do. That's it. But the world, people, things, distractions are going to try to disqualify you. Oh, yeah. And say, yeah. you're not good enough. Mm. Moses told uh, God, <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. you want me to go before Pharaoh? I, I, I can't talk. I can't talk. <laughs> you know, always putting yourself down, always mm -hmm. disqualifying yourself. Mm -hmm. He may give us a voice of an angel. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor always wanted me to sing mm -hmm. when it's time to dismiss. Mm -hmm. He said, okay, Jose, sing. And when I sing, people run out. <laughs> Says, he's giving you the voice of an angel. Sing beautifully. But you have to make the decision to use it for him. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah, they go use it for the world and make lots of money. But who gave you that gift? God has gifted us. God has given us talents. Amen. He may give you the ability to preach the gospel. But we will never fulfill his calling until we decide to accept the call and mm -hmm. do it, what Amen. he's called us to do. Amen. He's called every one of us to be ministers of reconciliation and bring the, the gospel to a lost world. Mm -hmm. And we can do it. Amen. You know why? Because there's not a lot of people running to... Come into this building where we <laughs> assemble ourselves together. But you know what? There's lots of yes. people around where you go shop. Yes. Where you go and yes. gas up, where you go and eat, wherever you happen to go. There's always lots of people. So don't be ashamed of him. If Jesus says share with that person, you know, mm -hmm. then share with them. You know, uh, joy, no, not joy, uh, uh, kindness. It's, oh, a great, it's, it, it's a free gift that we can give. It won't cost oh, you anything yeah. except to speak it out and be kind yes. to somebody, a down and out person. Mm -hmm. Or somebody who's being rude and crude, you know, oh, yeah. just to let them know that God kind of loves you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm. It won't cost you anything except yes. pride. Sacrifice self. <laughs> James 4 7 says, says, uh, says uh, Submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil, he'll flee from you. You know that word resist that means take authority. Mm -hmm. Remember, we got to know if you haven't read the word, you need to read the word to find out. Satan is a defeated foe. Yes, he is. He's been defeated. Jesus dethroned him. Jesus yes. defeated him. <laughs> so we got to remind him, you're a defeated foe. Mm -hmm. And I take authority. I resist you. I resist you. Yes. Amen. I resist you. Yes. I take authority over you and I command you to go. And uh, James 4, 7, King James says, Submit, surrender, give yourself, therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Flee from you know why he's going to flee? He's not afraid of you. <laughs> he's afraid of what you're speaking. He's yeah. afraid of who's backing you. That's he's it. afraid of who you are. Mm -hmm. And when you start confessing that word and, and these rivers of living water coming out of you, he's going to have to, he didn't say he's going to crawl away or walk away. He says he's going to flee. Flee means he's going to run. He's going to vanish. 
Okay, in James uh, 4 7, the Amplified says, So submit to the authority of God, mm -hmm. resist the devil, stand firm against him, and he will flee from you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's a defeated foe. Yes, he is. He's under my feet. Get thee behind me. What did Jesus tell? When, 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 you, when he tried to attack Jesus, when well, he'd been fasting, mm -hmm. and the enemy said, Well, he's weak right now, so I'll just go and attack, you know. Mm -hmm. But he says, You know what? The word of God says this. He used the word. And then he says, you know what? Get behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. That's where he belongs. He belongs behind mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Praise God. Mm -hmm. Woo, hallelujah, man. This is good. Yes, it is. How often we sing the song, I surrender all and <laughs> give ourselves completely to him and trust in him. But the words we sing don't always reflect the truth about our hearts. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we have to mm -hmm. believe what we say. We got to stand in the word mm -hmm. and know that his word is truth. Amen. He says, the, if you're speaking the word and resist him, he said, he's got to flee. He's got to yeah. go. He can't, he can't hang around. You got to go find somebody that's talking like him. Somebody's acting like him. You know, he's got to hang out with them. Amen. But he's not, he, he not going to hang out with Jose anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Proverbs 18, 21. We, 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 we read this scripture all the time. New King James says, death and life. You notice they start with death, not life. It says mm -hmm. death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. The power of the tongue is the words you speak. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we used to say this when we were kids. Sticks and tongues can hurt me, but he said words will never hurt me. Yeah, That's wrong. Amen. You're sowing seed. Words are seeds. Mm -hmm. And you're sowing seeds. You're planting seeds every time you speak them. If they're negative, it's going to be planted and it's yes. going to grow in your life. Mm -hmm. And you're wondering why are these negative things, why these bad things are popping up in your life? Mm -hmm. Because you've been going around speaking them mm -hmm. and saying them. Mm -hmm. And now it's popping up. Say, so right. Lord, I just take authority and I cancel all of these That's negative it. seeds, these, these seeds to go in Jesus' yeah. name. And start planting new seeds. Yes. Life. Let there be life. And that those who love it will eat its fruit. Mm -hmm. It's going to grow and you're going to, it, it's going yeah. to pop up in your life. Mm -hmm. And nobody planted it in there but you. And now, who can change this? You can you change can it change. by speaking the right things. But we've got to submit ourselves to God and start speaking the right things Amen. and saying the right things. Say, hey, you know what? I've told you this before and I'll say it again. I come from a family of cussing champions, okay? No. <laughs> and I know every cuss word there is. And I was military, so guess what? The military says it too. <laughs> mm. The world says it too, and I'm around it all the time, even now. And I hear it, but I renew my mind, and I give no voice to it. Mm -hmm. Amen? It doesn't go out of my lips anymore. I know better. I don't want negative things, negative seed, growing in my garden anymore. That's it. Amen? I don't want these negative things in me anymore surrender to jesus mm -hmm. is to let go and let god yes it is difficult for people to surrender mm -hmm. all and give it all mm -hmm. it's easier to speak than it is to let it happen mm -hmm. keep going james 1 and 22 says what mm -hmm. james 1 22 new king james says but be doers of the word and yes. not hear it's only Amen. deceiving yourself mm -hmm. so you know what you can read it all you want to but you know you're full of the word, but you're not speaking it. No. You gotta, you gotta speak it out. Yeah. Amen. Woo. You hear it. You read it. Don't be here as only mm -hmm. deceiving yourself. You gotta speak it out. Mm -hmm. You know what? When you speak it out, you're releasing to go and yes. uh, do what it needs to do. Needs to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, man. Hallelujah. New, li new uh, living translation says. And don't just listen to God's word. Mm -hmm. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you're only fooling yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, once in a while I go and read different translations, see what they say. I like that one, you know, and say, hey, don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Mm -hmm. Basically, we need to be obedient. Yes. And do what he's telling us to do. That's it. Amen. He's our heavenly father. We're his children. Mm -hmm. So as children, we must imitate him. Yes. And do what he's telling us to do. Amen. Otherwise, you're only fooling yourself. Mm -hmm. The enemy is not afraid of the written word. That's 
You know what person don't flee? Mm -hmm. Spoken word. Spoken word. Speak the word, the rhema word, you know. Mm -hmm. And man, he he's gone. He's out of there. <laughs> yeah. So surrender means that you can have victory in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Surrender means victory is mine. Mm -hmm. Surrender means I can have victory in him every day. Thank you. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. So Amen. praise God. Three areas in life that we must surrender. The past, the present, and the future. Oh boy. The past, the enemies always want to use against you. Your friends, family, or whatever always want to use it against you, you know. <laughs> I know you. And they still remember you and what you used to do. I'm a new child of God. You know, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, you're a new creature in Christ. The old is gone, the new is in. But you know what? My words and my actions, they've changed. And I'm totally different. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not doing those things no more. Amen. Amen. I'm living a new life. I'm living a new life. So you know what? The enemy, you always uses your past. And this is what uh, Philippians uh, 3 uh, 12 to 14 says not that I have already obtained this or I'm already perfect but I press on I got to do something I got to press on you know I can't sit on my coma see I'm all the time and do nothing he wants us to be busy about the mm -hmm. father's business mm -hmm. he says I press on mm -hmm. to make it my own because Christ Jesus said make me his own he says brothers I do not I do not consider that I have made it my own. But one thing I do, what do I do? Forgetting yeah. what lies behind or forgetting the past. Yeah. And straining forward to what lies ahead. Mm -hmm. I press on towards the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ in Jesus. Christ Jesus. So you know what? People are going to see you and they still remember little Jose. Mm -hmm. And what Jose used to do. And they still going to judge me by that. Mm -hmm. I'm not there no more. You know. Amen. And my words and my actions are going to prove that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because I'm not going to put on the show like I used to. So that you can be entertained. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let the greater one shows, show through me. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. You got uh, Romans 12, 1 and 2. There we go. King James says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Yes. And be not conformed to this world, he says, but be ye transformed by what? The renewing of your mind. Renewing of your mind. Where's the battlefield? <gasps> the mind. And your mind is busy all the time, thinking good and bad. Amen. And if you whatever you dwell in is going to come to pass. So you got to be careful. See, if it's going bad, renew your mind mm -hmm. with the word of God. Yes. Amen. And feed your spirit the word of God. Mm -hmm. And your flesh, <laughs> what do we do with the flesh? Sacrifice Crucified. it. Crucify it, you know, because your flesh wants to just be mm -hmm. easy and just take sides. Oh, we're going that way. So the flesh just joins you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it says, transform by renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. <laughs> Amen. So let's, let's remember this. Renew our minds. It's mm -hmm. the battlefield of is the mind. So we can change that. Amen. Proverbs. <coughs> Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. New King James says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, heart your spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. And lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. Who yeah. knows? Who, who knows your path? Who knows your calling? Mm -hmm. He knows. He knows all about you. So yes. he, if we're making a mess of life, you know, hey, confess him as you know the Savior and say, Lord, <laughs> straighten my life. Yes. I want to live for you. I want to do for you. Amen. All of us, some of you watching, some of you listening, mm -hmm. it's time you come home. It's time you come back to him. Amen. He put you here to win. He didn't put you here to be down and out. That's it. He didn't put you here to be in the pit and the pig pen. Mm -hmm. Amen. He put you here to be a winner Amen. and to go and do for him. He's gifted you. You know, one day we have to stand before him mm -hmm. and, and he's going to ask you, what you do with the gifts I gave you? Mm -hmm. Well, I was afraid. They told me I wasn't qualified, mm -hmm. so I never used it. Why? 
you know we got to get the truth we got to get in his word so we know what to do mm-hmm. and lord what i'm doing and what you call me to do i want to do for you mm-hmm. amen and if it's small it doesn't matter it's big or small i'm going to do it unto god and he's going to love you you know he loves you the most amen Woo, hallelujah thank you listen to this so trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean up to your understanding. All your ways acknowledge Him and He'll direct your path. Your path is dead and gone. Sin forgiven, yes. But some of, of those sins are still being carried on. The enemy brings it around. Remember the enemy wants to steal, kill, and, and destroy. You will re, He will remind you by using anyone or anyone available. If you keep reminding the past, who you haven't forgotten confess it forget it and press on if he says he'll forgive and forget you need to do the same thing yeah. you need to forget it mm-hmm. you're forgiven it's forgotten and you need to do the same thing leave it in the past mm-hmm. people might bring it up but say you know you know what that's not me anymore that's somebody else mm-hmm. i've given it to god and yes. it's his Past will disqualify, make you feel guilty. Uh-huh. I, it's awful it, for, for me to serve him. Mm-hmm. So past, confess it, release it, forget it, and renew it, and press on. If God has, if God forgives your past, your past is gone. Yeah. Why keep remembering the past? You're letting it interfere in your serving him. You must forgive yourself and let the past go. Amen. Amen. In the future, we're going to trust Him that we are here to do what He's called us to do and be here, Lord. I'm here for the past, for the future, and whatever You want me to, what it want, want to use. And now, same thing as now. Here I am, Lord. He said, "Who am I going to send? Here am I, Lord. Send me. <laughs> Make yourself available. Be available. Yeah. Amen. So, <laughs> you know, the world's looking at qualifications. God says. I already qualified you. Mm-hmm. So you know what? Be available. That's what he's looking for. He, be available. Be faithful mm-hmm. in doing what he's called you to do. Yeah. And you know that you can do all things all through things. Christ mm-hmm. who strengthens you. So in closing, yeah. Thank you, Lord. amen. Praise God. Praise Give it all to Jesus. Surrender all to him. Let go and let God. Dethrone yourself and throne him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Surrender it all to Jesus. It's best for me. Surrender to Jesus, and it brings victory. Surrender it all to Jesus. Thank you, Father. I hope you uh, receive, and I hope you receive something. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Lord, we just give all ourselves to you, Father God, and we just thank you, Lord. Lord. If you're watching, you're listening, you never accepted him. Now's the time, you know. All you need yeah. to do is just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Come in my life, be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And you know what? He's not going to turn you down. No, he's he's, not. You're just going to come to life. You know why? Because you're going to find out who you are in him. Yes. And when you start serving him, you can get to a Bible-based church where you can learn more about him yes. and know the truth is going to set you free from yeah. all these worldly mindsets, from all these traditions, you know, yes. that have been holding you back. And start pressing on with Him. Amen. Yeah. you got sickness in your body. All you need to do is remind your body. Remind the enemy. And remind sickness. Sickness, I don't receive you. Mm-hmm. You're of the enemy. And I resist you. And I command you to go. Bible says, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. From the crown of my head to the soles of my yeah. feet. And everything in my body functioning just the way He created it to function. Yeah. So body, receive your healing now. Mm-hmm. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. So in giving, uh, just go to our website. You see it on the screen there. It says NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, uh, NBC uh, PO, PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And for Cash App, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Mm-hmm. God loves you, and we love you. Amen. Thank you.